the off-grid family. Today we're going to be doing a project that is extremely useful in an off-grid scenario but it's also a fun project for children. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a pH indicator. pH is basically the scale in which we measure alkaline or acidity and we're going to make a simple indicator. This can be very useful when testing soil types or water types etc. All you're going to need for this part of the project is a knife, a saucepan and a red cabbage. These are also known as purple cabbages. Depends where you're buying it. Okay, the way I cut cabbage is I cut down the stem We don't need the whole thing. Cut down the stem again. Now what I tend to do is I will cut out the stalk. This can be fed to my animals. Put that to one side. And then thinly slice. Place that in the saucepan. Add your water and boil it. Okay, so that's been on a rolling boil for about 15 minutes. It doesn't really matter. You'll have noticed that the water's gone a very dark purple colour, almost black. So we'll have a look at that now. Okay, for this next bit we're going to tip out the contents of this into a colander. Keep the liquid. When I was talking to a friend about doing this um, about five years ago, I was over um, talking to them over a Skype called They Live in Canada, and I was explaining them how to do it, and it was one of those people that always just does stuff without sort of waiting to hear how to do it, and they went off and came back and they had the cabbage in the saucepan and they tipped all the fluid down the uh, sink. The fluid is what we actually need. So, onto, into a colander. Careful not to get this everywhere because this stuff will stain. Now, that is perfectly edible and we will be eating that in a little while. But we don't need that for now. I'll do a bit of a clean up quickly. Now this obviously is boiling hot. Please be careful with it. Okay, in essence that is it done. It's set, except it is extremely, extremely concentrated. So what you need to do, again, being careful not to burn yourself, tip your fluid, some of it, into a jug. And now we want to top that jug up with water. Okay, so I've watered it down a hell of a lot now and you can see through it, this is a very, very dark colour. I've added probably triple the amount of water to it. And now you can see through it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill these three tiny ickle ickle shot glasses up and then we can test to see if it's working. Obviously not spilling it everywhere. Okay, they're way too overfilled now, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna put lemon juice in this one, which is highly acidic. I'm gonna leave this one how it is, and I'm gonna put um, an extreme alkaline in this one, which is baking powder. Let me just turn that so you can see it a bit better. Right, first then, a couple of drops of lemon juice. Can you instantly see the colour change there? The more the acid, the pinker it will go. And the more alkaline, I'll just mix that one up. Okay. 
can you see that on there? It goes a very, very blue colour, the more the alkaline is. I'll zoom in on all of them now. So, Happy Smiley Snake is pink. That's our base, our test one. And then the blue. Can you see the difference in those colours? Let me get them a bit closer together. It's not as striking and as noticeable as the red or the pink but it is highly noticeable I, I hope it's picking it up on camera because it's very this one's very very blue this one's purple and this one's very very pink anyway I hope that was helpful to any of you I'll see you again soon bye